What's up, everybody? Charlie Marlowe here. You probably know by now. Heck, you clicked on this video. You see it on the ticker. Cardinals signing Matt Carpenter to a one-year deal. What do you guys think about this? I don't know. Make it make sense for me. I'm trying to figure this one out, just like you. Full disclosure, I was working out. Had a couple errands to run. Got my parents coming into town. Had to buy a couple snacks and beer and all that. Look at Twitter. Matt Carpenter coming back to the St. Louis Cardinals. Press release was out. I'm not going to read that for you. But uh, Ken Rosenthal on Twitter tweets out, Carpenter deal is for $740,000, source says. The Braves are responsible for the remainder of the $5.5 million guarantee. So there's the good part right there. It's very cheap for the Cardinals. 740 k for Matt Carpenter, according to Ken Rosenthal. When I saw this press release, I'm thinking, why? I got nothing against Carp, by the way, whatsoever. Looks like the Cardinals are bringing the, uh, the old band back together. But I'm thinking, how does this make sense? I would think with Mason Wynn, a young shortstop, unproven as a hitter, you would want to back up infielder to be able to play shortstop, especially if Tommy Edmond is now mostly an outfielder. And I'm thinking, Matt Carpenter, where does he even play? Can he still play the field? So this is, this is me being honest. We're going to find out together. Instead of doing my research first and then doing the video, I'm just going to do my research on the video because I honestly can't remember if Matt Carpenter even played defense last year for the San Diego Padres. So let's find out together. All right, baseball reference. Here we go. Matt Carpenter. Also, I didn't even remember how Matt Carpenter hit last year. Okay, so I think we all remember that he went buck wild with the Yankees in 2022, but then he got hurt. So he only played 47 games with New York in 2022. We all know, look, his last three years with the Cardinals were really, really bad. But his OPS plus with the Yankees in 2022 was 216. His OPS was 1138. He had 15 bombs, hit 305, 412 on base, 727 slug in 2022 with the Yankees. And that's in 47 games, remember. Okay, last year, not so good with the San Diego Padres. An 81 OPS plus. So he's 19% below league average as a hitter. Played in 76 games. Batted 176, on base 322. We know the man can always walk. He'll always find a way to walk. His OPS was 641. I don't get it, folks. I don't get it. So this is his age 38 season for Matt Carpenter. He just turned 38 in November. Obviously, we all know, played for the Cardinals for a long time. 11 seasons. He was great with the Cardinals. How many All-Stars? Three All-Stars, what, one Silver Slugger in 2013. He had that amazing year in 2013 where he led the league in runs with 126, led the league in hits with 199, led the league in doubles with 55, led the league in walks the following year, 2014, 95 walks, led the league in doubles 2015 with 44 doubles. This guy's gotten MVP votes with the Cardinals, fourth in the MVP in 2013, 12th in 2015, 9th in 2018, but that's a long time ago, folks. I don't know about this one. What do you guys think? Comment, like, subscribe. Let me know what you think. And as I'm being honest with you again, I didn't remember how Matt Carpenter hit last year. I actually thought he hit better than he did once I just read the stats. Not very good. He's entering his age 38 season. And also, let's look at defense. Because I'm thinking to myself, can this man still play the field at all? Can he play any first base? Was he mostly a DH? So let's look at the last couple of years. Okay. So first, let's go back to 2022 with the Yankees. So 2022, he DH'd 16 times. Wow, he actually played outfield 15 games. Played right field in 12 games. In 2022, played first base in five games. So what I see, left field, three games, 
third base actually played two games. So essentially, DH, but man, he actually played 15 games in the outfield in 2022. But let's look at last year. Because again, 2022 is with the Yankees. 2023 is with the San Diego Padres. He is a DH for 55 games last year. He's a first baseman for 13 games. Matt Carpenter is. We're looking at starts. So he started 48 games as the DH for the Padres, and he started 10 games as a first baseman. I would think, I mean, could he, could he ever just for a game or two play third still? Maybe for a game or two, but I doubt you want that any more than, than just that. Remember, you got Brendan Donovan. He can move all over the infield, be your super utility guy who can also hit. So can Matt Carpenter at age 38 still play some, some first base? Can he be a backup first baseman to Paul Goldschmidt? When he needs a rest, you can bring in the left-handed hitter, do a little, I'm not calling this a platoon, obviously, because Goldie's going to play the majority. But every once in a while, if there's a tough righty and there's some numbers where, where Goldie needs a day, maybe Goldie DHs, whatever it is, Matt Carpenter can play a little first base. So Matt Carpenter can DH, but man, you also have, you have a veteran team where a lot of these guys you're thinking are going to be DHs in terms of getting Nolan Arenado off his feet, getting Paul Goldschmidt off his feet. How about Wilson Contreras? And, and, and what if Yvonne Herrera also becomes a really good catcher and all of a sudden Herrera is catching a decent amount of games? And, and Contreras will still catch, obviously, hopefully the most games. But is Wilson Contreras going to DH a bunch of games? How, ma how many at-bats can you really find for Matt Carpenter? I mean, pinch hit type guy? What do you think? Obviously, it's very cheap. So it is what it is there. I'm just trying to, I'm trying to make it make sense from a roster standpoint. And let me look, by the way. I'm trying to think of guys like Arenado and whatnot, like how many games they DH'd. I know I looked at this a couple years ago. Okay, so Arenado last year DH'd 15 games. Let's look at Goldie. Paul Goldschmidt. So I'm just trying to kind of carve up DH opportunities for the Cardinals to see if Matt Carpenter can slide in there a little bit. So Goldie DH'd 21 games. So between those two, that is uh, – 36, you're getting close to a fourth of the games DH'd by those fellows right there. Let's look at Contreras. Contreras, Wilson Contreras, which you got to think also that he will DH a little more because Kisner was your typical 50-game backup in a typical healthy season. We had John Mozeliak on the radio show, Hot Take Central, 5-9 in the fan. He doesn't want Yvonne Herrera to be that. Hopefully he plays more. Um, I don't know how many games that is. But uh, Wilson Contreras DH'd 30 games last year. So just between Goldie, Arenado, and Wilson Contreras, if my math is correct, that's 66 games DH'd. You can rotate a bunch of other guys. So Matt Carpenter, I mean, you can, you can find a couple games for him to DH, but I don't know. This one, this one doesn't really make sense from a roster standpoint to me. I understand the nostalgia, and Cardinal fans are going to be mad for me even saying that. Matt Carpenter was a great Cardinal for years and years and years. The last three years were really rough. I even felt bad for the dude. He was making a lot of money, but still, he was, he was not hitting. Fans were pissed. I was happy to see him go to New York and turn things around and be good. I don't know. I, just, I don't understand this move from a, from a roster standpoint. I get that it's cheap. I'm not going to complain too much. I guess anything you get, if there's any type of positive for Matt Carpenter, it's all good. I just feel like you have so many good young position players fighting for at-bats, even at the DH spot. Look at somebody like Dylan Carlson. If every once in a while he's playing outfield, but you got DH to go around, Brendan Donovan, he's going to be bouncing all around the infield. You got a bunch of guys who kind of play different positions. Mix and match with the outfield. Again, I don't think you're going to see Carpenter at all in the outfield, but but it's not the craziest thing because he did play a little bit of outfield in New York, as we mentioned, two years ago. 
I mean, could he play a couple games at, at third base? Maybe a couple? Mostly DH, mostly first base, obviously. So I don't know. You know, you knew something was coming, though, with this James Nail move. Where, where did he sign? Was it, uh, I know somewhere in Asia. Kia? A team that's uh, Kia something? So when the James Nail, I'm looking it up right now. When the James Nail news happened, you thought the Cardinals were going to do something today. I think most people assume probably a reliever. Where's he going? James Aubrey Nail is an American professional baseball pitcher for the Kia Tigers of the KBO League. Of course, the Korean Baseball League. So James Nail, who's from Cape Girardeau, is headed there. So that opened up the spot for Matt Carpenter on the rooster. I don't know, man. And ladies, I just don't get it. I don't get it. I'm not mad about it. I don't really care that much, but I don't think it makes sense. What do you think? Am I wrong? Do you like the nostalgia? Do you like that they're bringing the band back together? Getting the band back together with um, Lance Lynn's back? I mean, Yachty's a coach. Daniel Descalzo's a coach. I don't know. I don't know. And I know I'm not saying a lot, but I'm trying to process how this makes sense. If it's just the veteran guy, you want veteran leadership, a couple ABs here and there, a little pinch hit opportunity. I don't think we saw anything in 2023 based on the stats that Matt Carpenter is going to have a, a great year. I mean, you can understand why coming off 2022, the Padres gave him a shot because he was amazing, and then he got hurt. I don't know, folks. I'll, I'll keep this short. I'll keep this video short. Breaking news. I got a lot to do. It's my daughter's birthday, by the way. It's her sixth birthday. So I'm, we're trying to do birthday stuff also. But uh, Matt Carpenter, one-year deal. It's not very much money. As I mentioned earlier, Ken Rosenthal, 740K. The Braves are paying the remainder of the $5.5 million guarantee. And real quick before I, before I go, I'm just going to search Twitter. And by the way, did anybody break this story? Because I got a press release and I saw the, the tweet from the Cardinals. I don't know if any reporter actually broke this story. I'm just going to, I'm searching Matt Carpenter to see if there's any news on this. Blah, 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 one-year contract, blah, 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 Matt Carpenter, blah, 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 blah. All right, that's all I got. Maybe we'll talk more over the weekend. Probably not because my parents are in town, so I probably won't be doing a ton of work. But Matt Carpenter, he's back. He's 38 years old. Kind of fits with this team, right? Everybody's old. Well, at least the starters are. You got some good young position players. But Carp old, Goldie old, Arenado older. It is what it is. I don't know how this really helps the 2024 Cardinals on the field. I don't know if, if he even plays the field, maybe a little for space. I'm not mad about it. I don't care that much. I'm not a hater. I just don't know if it makes any sense. I understand you get an infielder that can play a backup shortstop. I understand you want a left-handed hitter if he can kind of play a little first base. But then again, you got, I mean, you got some left-handed pop with Nolan Gorman, with Lars Newtbar with Brendan Donovan, switch hitter, Tommy Edmond, switch hitter, Dylan Carlson. I don't know, folks. Make it make sense. What do you think? I don't get it. Maybe you guys get it better than me and comment and let me know what you think. If you like the show, share the show, share the channel, share the, uh, the videos, put it in your group text, put it on social media, let people know about the channel. Peace out. Have a great weekend. Happy birthday to my daughter who will not be watching this video. Happy birthday to any of you if it's your birthday as well. And uh, see you later. Matt Carpenter, back with the Redbirds on a one-year deal. Peace out.